I'm going to explain to you how to replace a wire on one of these doors. Now, when I looked on YouTube to, for an explanation, they weren't very clear. And I had to figure it all out myself. So I'm going to, if you've never done it before, I'm going to explain to you the best way to go about it. Now, it's a two-person job, really. So you're going to need someone else to help you. You can do it yourself if you know what you're doing. But if it's your first time, get someone else to help you. And these are the items that you're going to need. You're going to need a step ladder. Uh, then you're going to need the replacement wire. Here. They come in pairs. Now, if you go on the Garador website, they charge £50 or something for a pair of these. It's just outrageous. And uh, when I look at the reviews, actually, <clears throat> of the Garador service, it's non-existent hopeless apparently but fortunately there are other sites that where you can get hold of these uh, replacement wires for the Garador for around ten pounds uh, you're going to need a screw a sturdy screw with something that can roll around it now this is a bit of old pipe hose pipe that I uh, had and I cut a, a centimeter off just so that it uh, it can roll around the screw. You go. You need a cord of some kind, a sturdy cord, uh, like a skipping rope or washing line. Don't use the your existing washing line though, because uh, it's a filthy job. Which is why you're going to need these rubber gloves as well. Uh, you'll have to throw them away afterwards. It's uh, the spring is greased up, something chronic. Uh, a pair of gardening, you know, tough gardening gloves as well they'll come in handy and maybe some eye protectors because you're working with a spring that is under tension and it potentially could be dangerous so when you take the plastic cover off what you'll see is is this inside the mechanism but one of the springs will be will be hanging off uh, dangling down because the wire is broken holding it up so this is what it's supposed to look like when it's working and the replacement wire goes over this pulley round and attaches to this hook here. Now the instructions describe getting the wire around the, the pulley system actually suggest so getting over this wheel first and then pulling the wire to get tension to start tensioning the spring uh, so you can get enough slack to get it over the wheel anyways it's hopeless because you've got this huge spring and this little thin wire and you can't get a purchase on it and you're trying to pull across your body on a step ladder so you're unbalanced you haven't really got the strength to get it across hopeless so i devised this way of using your body weight to make it a lot easier to get tension in the spring initially now what you need to do is, you need to screw into here. That screw that I showed you earlier, you screw it into here, and then the roller is what helps you get the, um, the spring extended. Now the cord goes into that hole there. There. you're actually tying it onto the spring and then the cord runs along here over the screw and the roller and goes down and the person who's helping you can pull on the cord and easily extend the spring and then you've got enough slack in the wire to get it round the pulley the pulley system here, through here, and then you put a screwdriver through the eyelet so that it doesn't spring back when the person lets go. Now, once you've got it to there, you're pretty much home and dry. Because then what you do is you grab hold of the screwdriver like a, a water skier would grab hold of the baton, and then you just pull it down. Get tension in the spring until it clips into that wee bit there. You see that slot there? That is to help you. 
because behind this pulley wheel is a hook, like a little flange, and you extend it beyond that slot there, and then it goes back and it hooks into it, and then it's locked, and that gives you enough, it's overextended the spring, so you've got enough slack to attach the bottom end into the slot there. And then when you've attached it, you grab hold of the wire using these gloves because it can be quite sharp. You pull it until you overextend the spring and then you have to move the pulley out a bit so it's away from that slot and then it can go back and then it's in the position that it should be. So that's what you need to understand. That's what you're working towards. Now, when I did it, I had to get a, a screwdriver to just lift this pulley away from that slot so it didn't keep engaging when it went back. But the key thing is to put that screw in there to get that little roller on so that you can tie your cord to the spring, pull down using your weight or somebody's weight, to extend the spring. That's the key to the whole thing. There, uh, hope that helps.